Wednesday, 2nd of November. Let's take a look at gold, euro, dollar, Dow Jones, Bitcoin, gold. Let's take a look at the 15 minute chart first. Now, yesterday's Astro hours, right? This is the 1st of November. <clears throat> so, on the 1st of November, okay, if you see this, all you got to do is refresh, okay, simply because the video is being processed. So, once you do a refresh in your browser, you'll get it, okay. So Astro hours, 9.35 to 10, 2 o'clock, 4.35 to 4.45, 7.35 to 8, and then we've got closure here, you know, at midnight or whatever. Um, now, what have I said here? Expecting market push moves today in New York session with disruption and should last until closing of market. Yesterday, I also mentioned about today and Thursday. So I am expecting disruptions in trend and breakouts as well. Um, coming towards Thursday. So as we get to that Thursday New York session, volatility should be like pushing in that direction. So when everything is going a little bit sideways, 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 right, then that's the time to start thinking, okay, we're going to get somewhere and there's going to be action. Now let's take a look. Let's first get rid of these. Yesterday we talked about gold. We're in between levels here. So I always give the daily and you know the, the weekly levels. Obviously, I give at the beginning of the week. That 34 level, 16.39. It's down here. 16.39. All right. Which is that level there, 16.39. So immediately when the market goes above it, gets to that target. Now yesterday's was 16.59 here. Whoops, on the daily. Today it's 51, which is 1660. Okay, so 1660 is the target there. So if the market breaks above the weekly, pulls back, that will be a target there. Yesterday, what, what happened? This, as you can see here, is 315. We had 435, 445. So that's 3 o'clock, 330 there. That's 4 o'clock. And that's your 415. And after that, the market, as you can see, just starts to go down, 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 down. Okay. So when you're in a situation like this, when you're selling from here, from the tops, because the market came to our astro hours and then turned around, put your stop loss above the high. Because if we are correct, it shouldn't go higher. Okay. Let's do that. Let's get rid of these. Today is a new day. And then the market comes back here, as you can see. What's that? That's 6.45 in the morning. So the earliest we had was 9.35, 10. Well, that's your 10 o'clock bar there. All right, so the market opens up here and then pulls back down. And then we've got 2 o'clock. This is your 12.15. 2 o'clock is there where you got that level there. If you sold here, it wasn't the wrong thing to do. It was actually the right thing to do. Selling at the weekly pivot, okay, at 2 o'clock. This is just unfortunate if you got stopped out, and sometimes that happens. Okay, sometimes it just happens. As you can see, it's filled in a blank here. Where, okay, that's why that happened. All right, so sometimes that does happen. This is why I also put the PST um, levels in there. So if you have a PST, like PST level slightly above that, you just got to be mindful because it can touch those levels, and the PST levels are pretty sensitive stuff. Okay, so today with gold, what can you do? Look, we're in between highs and lows, so you see that and that. So selling is an option, okay, there as a PST level. When you're in between levels, it's going to get tricky. And this is your support. So at the lows here, buying is an option to go up. If you want to buy in order to get there or on the weekly, if you want to go up which is logical okay it's logical to do so you can if it's an astro hour here at the white line 1648 or down here at the daily pivot or down here if it's not an astro hour don't muck around with it i'm always saying match your hours with prices okay otherwise you're going to get yourself into trouble okay time and price must work together so that's how it is. And then the market came back down, as you can see, into that hour, which is 7, whoops, 7.30, right? That's your 7.30 there. And we had 7.35 to 8.20. So the market pulls back where to? 
there. Okay, this is also a manipulation zone, so if you know how to do technical analysis the way we're doing it, you should have said to yourself, that's a manipulation zone and that is an astrological hour. So go along here and put your stop loss under the low off there. You would have been okay as well. And then the market goes up here at 9.15. We didn't have anything at 9.15, mind you. All right. That's the 10.45, as you can see there, 11.45 being up here. Okay. So the market going back up again into that direction, hitting the weekly pivot there as well and then coming down because it's a good place to sell off so buying here at an astro is not a bad idea okay um and then also down here all right so let me just get rid of this so we don't get confused with all the lines that's your pst level that's your daily pivot now i am expecting the market volatility the volatility to increase and we do have um, a lunar eclipse, right? A new moon lunar eclipse happening next week. So, for me to see the market at lows is going to be an opportunity to go long. If we get up here somewhere by next week, it's also logical we want to sell it down. All right, so just be mindful where we're at. Going here in between levels is a bit tricky, so just trade off your levels this 33 level is 1606 as well so if the market starts to sizzle down a little bit 1606 should be on your radar let me do that 1606 okay there let's get rid of that okay because we're following gold closely and that 34 level is 1639 if it breaks below there Okay, if it breaks below there, you're a seller. Okay, you're net selling towards these levels here. Euro dollar. Euro dollar, look, that happened this week. Okay, and this happened yesterday. You should have been on top of your game because it did the same thing again. Remember, I drew these lines for you in the beginning of the week. Okay, impulse wave. Nice consolidation, breaks down, good bike is pushed down, comes back for a good bike is again. Test the weekly. Let's make this a little bigger. When, as you can see there, whoops, not there, this is yesterday. Right there on the weekly pivot, and this is 345. All right, 345, and the market starts to fall at 430. So we had 435, 445. So selling all the way down was a beautiful push down. And that's where we had a target as well. So you should have been in and out of that game. All right. This top here was 11 o'clock. We didn't have anything at 11 o'clock. So you shouldn't have sold here. But if you sold here technically, right, if you said the market came up for a good buy, it's I am selling. This is not a wrong thing to do. It is correct. You would have needed to put your stop loss above the weekly pivot, and that would have been okay too. All right, but going with price and time is just magic, as you can see. Also, here we had 2 p.m. All right, so 1:15 there and 2 p.m. If you sold here, good. Once again, you got to put your stop loss above the weekly there. Okay, above the weekly, and then a nice fall down well into your 70 points, coming to the target. Now, euro dollar today. We're in this zone, as you can see, but we've got a break down here on the PST, and that's a good sign. That kind of clears out the air for us a little bit. So that's telling us that we could po probably will be going down, okay? And then we could be selling, and that's what we should be doing. Let me just refresh this. Now, as you can see, the daily pivot here is today. Yesterday, there was a bit of a blank in the market. Here, the gap, the market may want to come and fill that up. But it's already like pretty much filled up here. So what we can do, and it's filled in the gap here as well. So that's also good. What you can do is this with the euro dollar. If in the New York session or whatever it pulls up, you can sell again at the tops. Okay, so what does that mean? If we get back into the daily pivot at an astro hour, you can sell. Then you need to put your stop loss above and there. Okay, this is once again an impulse wave. It's a good push down. Okay, and all you got to do is follow it through. Okay, follow it through. There you go. All right. So as you can see, we're already having a breakdown here, and that's fine. 
there actually. Okay, and that's fine. The daily already broke. Look how the PST indicator is already giving us a breakdown without it first breaking on the price. So if the market stops there based on price, in the next hour or so, or the 15 minute chart, that kind of goes up and then retest this line here. That's also a nice level to be selling at Astro Hours. So, selling at these levels, the daily pivot at Astro Hours is good. Don't sell at the lows, please. I know I sound like a scratch record repeating myself, but I've seen this happen so many times. When the market falls, people get excited like here, and then all of a sudden it goes back. Why? Because they sold at a support level. If you're going to sell, do what we do, sell expensive. And this is the zone for today's expensive as with the Asia session, it makes a high, starts retracing. All right, so if in the New York session, if it does get higher, um, from, you know, if it gets into those levels, you can also sell, you can sell around here at Astro hours, and that's fine, keep a tight stop loss, okay? On the weekly as well, as you can see, we had this 38 level there, and I said in the beginning of the week, 60, uh, 98, 65 was a good spot to buy. Okay, it was because it was on the weekly um, PST. So 98, 65, as you know, is here. 98, 65 is there. Okay, so yesterday we, well, yesterday we saw the break of that. So there's obviously weakness here as it breaks below the swing of yesterday's low. So when the market goes up, they'll want to sell. Okay? That's why we're looking for sell options here. Selling is the better option here. Now, let me get rid of this line here. Okay, I'm going to keep this. You can also do this. The reason I'm doing the videos is because if you've taken technical analysis from me, you can kind of like understand what I'm doing. And if you have understanding after your trading, it'll make you independent. Okay, so this is the whole idea of the club. It's not just a matter of telling you to buy or to sell. So selling at the tops is okay. Stop loss needs to be above here. All right, if the stop loss is too far for your money management, keep your lots lower. All right, trade with smaller lot sizes. And that's how it is. Let's take a look at US 30. Right, US 30. Remember we had this zone all the way from the week, right? Because I said we should be sizzling down. This was our range. So the market had a fall yesterday. And look at that. That's a nice little fall there. Now still with, with this week and the lunar eclipse coming up, okay? The market could be volatile hitting up levels. All right. So the market is still down. The trend is still down. This is the weekly lower highs lower lows all right so selling is not a bad option here it's filling in some gaps all right so the market wants to fill those in and good on it too all right because it's called fair pricing so once it fills it up you'll want to retest stuff when it does you need to be there today's resistance is going to be 79.78 and that's 33.638.763 so 33.6 Three, eight. Are you sure that is just too far out? Let's put it anyway. 33.638. Right around there somewhere. 32.935. Let's see on the weekly. LCL1. 34.073. I'm going to put that in as well. Oh, it's already in there. Okay. And then we had what? 7. Six eight. Okay, so that level there. All right. So this could still happen. What do we want to do? That looks like a good push down, but the whole idea is this: this is an impulse wave. Okay, and this is look like looking like a regular extended. Okay, so regular extended. What can we do with this? Let's refresh the chart. A little tricky because then we could also take this as an impulse wave and looking good with an a b c and probably nicely into our fibonacci level two yeah there you go all right classic 
All right, so this is going to be, we're going to have to think about this in two ways, all right, up and down. So what we can do is this, selling the market here or slightly higher at 37 is okay. All right, why? Because that's where your lines are, all right? So the market should be selling between these levels and that's fine. Let's do this, yeah. So if it goes slightly higher as well, don't be surprised. Selling at Astro Hours from here and here are okay. All right, that's that. Well, if it comes down here, let me just push this and bring this back down. If it comes into this zone, you also want to think about buying. Okay, why? Because we've got 68.64. 32,511, 32, is there, okay, 32,511 is there, this is also possible buy level on the daily, okay, we do have a slightly lower target, which I think it will probably get there, which is 32,269, 32,269 is right on the weekly pivot, so I'm going to get rid of the purple zone now. All right, I'm going to get rid of that. If you sell, that's your first target. Breaking through there, that's your second target. Okay. If we start going above this level, you understand that the direction is still up and we've got room to go. Okay, we've got room to go according to the daily there and the weekly there. And this 5661 is a level you've got to look out for 32947. Okay, because that is your PST 32947. Right there. Okay. So be mindful. If we break above this sharply, any pullback, you go long. That'll be your target. Until you get there, make sure you manage to trade in between levels. Let's take a look at Bitcoin. Okay, this is a good push up. This could turn into a pennant. Okay, so the support is down here, which is 5521. 20,288 is your first support. 2,288. Now, if this is going to go up, it shouldn't break below this. Okay, it should not break below this if it's going to go up. Yesterday I also said if it comes back down here, you can go long. Not a drama because it's a support level and that's fine. And that's 5 o'clock. As you can see, we had 4.45. 4.45 is down here. Okay, this is an hourly chart. So the market comes down right off the weekly pivot. That's also okay. So if the market starts going higher, okay, and we start breaking levels. Okay, right, like here. And we start breaking levels upwards. And then we've got the option to keep heading higher. Okay, and if this thing breaks, we've got targets at the top there. As you can see, that's the edge, which I'm marked in my zone there. And that's a level there. Could it do that? It can do anything. Okay, the market can do anything. And the first resistance for you on that PST level is 67, 21,000, and that's when they'll want to sell as well. So let's get that into 21,000 right there. Okay, so this is going to be a sell level as well. If it gets there at an astro hour, can you sell? Yeah, you can. On the weekly, we're in this zone here, as you can see. So we've got that 2167, 21,162. 21162 on the weekly. Okay. And what was the other one? 21162, 2167. 2167. So this zone is pretty jammed and nice. 2167. It's okay that it's jammed as long as we know what the levels are. We just need to confirm with our hours, and that's fine. All right, so if there's a breakout, be mindful for this level, these zones here. Worst case scenario, 21,360-odd, 
at the weekly going there 21 360 all right that's the max stretch out anything beyond that is going to be pretty bullish okay so don't stand in front of it and this is also a breakout so don't stand in front of it too much let it exhaust itself before you do any selling if it does once again pull back into this zone at an astro hour it's viable with a tight stop loss because if it breaks below there and then it's going to go below and your next target down there's going to be hcl1 which is 19,987 okay 19,987 19,987 all right so around here is where you're gonna have to head for so be careful in between levels buy at astro as you can do here also here as you can see other big buy there and selling can only happen at these levels here at Astro Hours. Okay. And that's basically it. So if it falls below this, be mindful because that's not the only target. That is also a target at 44, which is 19707. So if it breaks below your first target, this is where you manage the trade. And then you've got 707 down here. Okay, 19707 down here somewhere there. And that's going to be your second target there, and you can just follow it. If you're using your ATAM, okay, just note these down already. Uh, if you don't have it, I'm writing it for you anyway. Just write it on your trading journal, 19,188. 19,188 there. All right, there we go. Oopsie daisy. Alright, so you know where your limits are, low and down. 